Unreal Engine 4.18 introduces new clothing tools that allow us to not only author, but edit cloth inside of the engine. This is Unreal Engine 4.17, and these are our clothing tools set up. We have our Apex clothing files that are set up on our Owen model here. We have a tie, and we have a coat. And then we have all the appropriate settings here. Now all these settings can be adjusted and it will change the weighting, the lift, drag, things like that that affects the cloth model that we've imported. But it is fixed to the weightings that it was content created with. So for example, if I go to show clothing and then physical mesh, we can see the mesh that's being applied to this jacket. And you can see how we have some fixed settings up here and some more weighted ones down here. So when we are having it on the body, it will adhere to the shoulders, and then the rest of it will kind of drape over our character. Now in 4.18, which you can see here, we have something slightly different. We have all the same looks, and we have all the same settings, but we have a new button at the top called Activate Cloth Paint. And when we click on that, we now get our cloth painting set up. We get our cloth painting tools. So you can see them over here, and if I click on something like our tie or our coat, we actually can see the weights. Let me go ahead and turn this down so we can see it a little bit easier. And we can see the same basic weighting setup before. We see our fixed areas and we see some heavier weights and some lighter weights. And what this does is it allows us to actually adjust them in the editor. And now you can create your own cloth, which we'll cover here in a second, the basics of, or you can paint on existing imported Apex cloth. Either one works, so if you have an existing setup already, you can continue using it, or you can just do everything inside the engine. Now in this example here, you'll notice that our little belt, it kind of falls down and I don't really like that. Now if I was doing this in the older way, I would have to say, okay, well I don't really like this. Maybe I want it to pinch a little bit more here, give it a little bit more weight so it, it holds sturdier. Now I need to go back into my DCC program, Max or Maya or something like that, change those settings, bring it back in, reapply them and continue testing back and forth. With the new system, I can go in here and just paint. Now, I'm going to want this to be about two. Two is going to be basically a hold. So I can go like this, paint a little bit right here. Maybe paint a little bit on this side here. And this will give me a little bit of a hold in this area. If I let go of the cloth paint, you'll notice it now holds right there. And it holds right there. You know, I could go in, maybe, maybe I want to actually make that belt kind of hold all the way around like that. Oops, wrong button. Something like this. Maybe get a little bit of a hold around his waist. Deactivate, and you now you'll notice it kind of holds a little bit better. Gives us a little bit better look. Now, I'm not an artist. This is going to come out looking like crud no matter what I do. I'm just showing you how the tools could be used. The nice thing here now is I can just simply come back in, adjust some weights, test, adjust some weights, test. You can even apply inside of the preview scene settings. An animation so I could go in here and check out the run animation let's go run forward and I can see how it waits in real time okay you know I may not like this I could pause it activate the cloth paint let's give it a little bit more weight maybe farther down maybe a little bit thicker around there I didn't really like how it was going you know like this oh that's a bit too much right there we can adjust this back to a hundred and we'll cut that out a little bit you know this is just it's the fact is you get to do this in the editor. Let's go ahead and undo it. We can see how it holds now. We'll hit play again. And you can just test it and iterate directly in the editor. So it makes it much quicker to try some things out. Now let's say you have a mesh. Let me go ahead and undo our animation. So we just stand there. Now let's say you have a mesh, but you don't have clothing. You don't have any Apex clothing to import. You want to go ahead and apply it inside the editor. Well, inside of here, if we have our section select section selection selected you can then click on the different parts of your mesh so i have a tie i have the chest i have the legs i have the coat i have the head i have the eyes too apparently they're all the different parts of the mesh and if you want to turn something to and from cloth like the old system you can just right click on it and you can see if it's got clothing data like our cloak does our chest does not our tie does so let's say we want to adjust the way the coat works. Let's go ahead and remove the existing clothing data. What that's going to do is it's going to remove any clothing data we've applied to our coat. Now I could always reapply it, apply clothing data, O and coat, and it'll go ahead and reapply that coat data back to the coat. 
But let's say I want to go ahead and make my own data. Let's say we delete this imported data, and we now have no data. I have no Apex information in here. So now I have nothing I can apply except for the tie, and that would look be weird. Well, we can go ahead and we can right-click and create clothing data from the section. And this is where we're creating inside the engine instead of using Apex. I'll keep it my default, test O in clothing. Um, we're not going to remove it from the mesh. We're not going to keep a low, high poly version. These are all options that are covered in the documentation. And we're not going to specify physics asset. We're going to use the existing stuff. And we're going to go ahead and create this. It'll take a second and it'll create some clothing data. Now, if we'd activate cloth painting, you'll notice we now have clothing data. It's all set to fixed because we haven't done any weighting. And if we were to actually, you know, test this, it's going to look just like this. Now, there are a couple different things here. First of all, it's not applied to anything. So that is kind of important to know. Right now, if we were to paint it. So let me go ahead and activate cloth painting. Let's go ahead and make a little bit on the bottom here. Well, let's give us a little bit bigger brush. We'll just kind of make our bottom part soft and our top part rigid. We'll do it right around the waist or so. Make it really simple, really simple test like this, okay? We'll go ahead and deactivate cloth painting and nothing changed. Well, this cloth data is not applied to anything. So let's go ahead and select our code again. Let's say we unselected it. We'll select it again. And now we'll apply our clothing data to that. And you'll notice once it applies, there we go. Now we've got things dropping down. We have the things down here falling down. You'll also notice a couple things. You might, depending on how your cloth is set up, uh, you'll notice that our buttons kind of disappeared because our buttons weren't really fixed onto the object. You'll notice this one down here kind of dropped down. So that's something to keep in mind when you're painting and you're adjusting things. We don't really have data on our buttons, so they kind of fell off. I'd have to repaint them on, basically. So like... Um, and, you know, let's go with three, you know, and I might might want my buttons to have a, you know, actually be attached. So that way, when I activate it, they don't really come off. They're kind of affixed to this area. It's again, I'm not an artist. It's something you'd have to adjust as an artist. But it allows me to adjust it in the editor. I don't have to go external. We want these sashes to fall down, for example. Let's activate our cloth paint. Let's put this more up to 100. And let's go ahead and just paint our sashes. Oh, there's our belt, I guess, not sashes. We'll paint our belt like here, and we'll go to this side, and we'll paint our belt here, and we'll go up to right about there, you know. Maybe we'd want some more in there. Yeah, do something like that, you know, and then we'll let it deactivate, and there we go. Now our belts come down. Obviously, we need to adjust them. I have parts in here that haven't been painted properly. This is just one of those things where you have to iterate through and make it work properly. Now, if it's not working right or something seems like it's weird... You do have the ability to adjust your visibility settings in here. So, for example, under advanced, we can flip normals, or we can call back faces, or you can use both. That way you can more easily see, okay, am I looking at the outside? Am I looking at the inside? What parts might I be missing? What maybe didn't I paint over? Maybe I didn't give it enough weighting in a certain part. You can even adjust the opacity if you want to see how it comes through on the body itself in terms of the weighting. So you can go through, you can play with it, you can adjust it, you can do it all inside the editor. You've got some things you can use for modification purposes. You know, you have your brush settings, and you have your paint settings, you have your opacity I went through, you have your view settings. You can change the actual paint type. You have brush, gradient, smoothing, and filling. And then you have your different masks. So you can, for example, add a new mask, and this mask could be backstop distance, backstop radius, max distance, or none. And you can apply different masks to get different effects for different parts of the body, depending on what you want your effect to be. And that's it. That's just a quick rundown of the new clothing tool inside of Unreal Engine 4.18.